Thank you, Mary. Continuing coverage now of the new Mobile River Bridge Project. Today, the U.S. Department of Transportation granted $125 million to help fund the $2.1 billion project. But this money has no impact on the proposed $6 toll. However, there is a possible solution that would make paying the toll a little easier. State Senator Chris Elliott has pre-filed two bills that would basically refund any money you pay for tolls when you file your Alabama tax return. News 5's Debbie Williams joins us now live with more on that. Debbie, what's this all about? Well, the senator says he needed a plan B, and that's what this is. He would like, if there's going to be a toll on that new Bayway Bridge, for there to be a dollar-for-dollar dollar credit on your next tax return. Six dollars one way. That's the proposed toll to fund Aldot's Mobile River Bridge project. Maybe two fifty, but six dollars is is just outrageous to me. State Senator Chris Elliott may have a solution in the form of legislation. This bill provides a dollar for dollar tax credit for any toll paid. Um, in this project uh, so that folks that are uh, going to be impacted by this toll are made whole. He hopes it's never needed that ALDOT will come up with a different plan to fund the two billion dollar project. If they choose to move forward we wanted to have a, uh, a plan B if you would and that's what this is. To pay for the tax credit Elliot has also pre-filed a bill that directs how royalties from offshore oil and gas wells or go Mesa money can be spent. That money would be used to fund the tax credit. It is a credit not a deduction so it is a dollar for dollar either credit against taxes that that somebody would owe or a refund if the amount of they spent on tolls exceeded their tax liability. He says this isn't the perfect solution, but it could be the next best thing. My focus is making sure that coastal Alabama pays no tolls on this bridge. Now, those bills have been pre-filed. He plans to introduce them in the next regular session of the legislature. He said already, though, he's getting some positive feedback from lawmakers. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Daphne, Debbie Williams, WKRG, News 5.